Okay, today we are going to discuss geometric sequence or geometric progression. Yeah. What is geometric progression? As we discussed the geometric sequence in which the common difference between two terms are same, same like we have discussed before the uh, arithmetic progression. So that was, for example, if I take an example of arithmetic progression, one, four, seven, ten, and up to so on. Uh, what is uh, uh, the main difference between geometric and arithmetic? That in uh, arithmetic progression, the common difference between two term is same. And what is the difference between geometric term, or what is the main difference between uh, two terms of geometric progression? It is if we have a sequence one, two, four, eight, sixteen, and up to so on, then the those sequence in which the common ratio between two terms is same that is called geometric. The, uh, how can we find the common ratio next divided by previous, like two divided by one? 4 divided by 2, 8 divided by 4, 16 divided by 8. So this is R is equal to 2. This is called geometric progression. So again, listen, geometric progression, what is the main difference, the two terms in two terms of geometric progression or how can we know that this progression is a geometric first look at the sequence if the common difference between two terms is same then it means it is arithmetic if not then consider the second condition what is the second condition that the difference between two terms uh, sorry the ratio between two terms should be same then we can say that that sequence is called geometric how can we find ratio? Ratio actually next divided by previous. So the next two things which we usually discuss, that is the general term formula for geometric progression. So if you look at this, this is one. So uh, how can we derive the general term formula? A1, A, the first term or A is equal to one. So how can we find the second term just multiplying R with first term? So it would, would become the second term. Sir, how uh, then the third term that is equal to A. If we multiply R square R two times R with A, then it becomes third term. So A4 would be A into R cube. Then A5 is equal to AR4. How look just okay. think so you can verify it just one minute, please. Uh, when you put a no. value of one and r is two, so take cube and one multiplied by two is eight, so one multiplied by eight is eight. If you look at this, this term is already eight. So a square is equal to a r, a cube is equal to a r square, a four is equal to a r. Similarly, we can derive the formula of a n that a n should be a r because this is uh, the power of r is always one less from this it would be n minus one so this is a formula of general term of geometric progression so this is a, a formula of geometric progression for a n for next we will discuss the sum of the formula if we simply put one plus 2, plus 4, plus 8, plus 16, and plus up to so on. So this would become geometric series. And in geometric series, we usually find the geometric sum, mean Sn, uh, sum of n terms. So Sn is a formula of Sn, is a, um, uh, actually in book, he mentioned two formula, but I always suggest just only remember one formula a into 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r. Again, r, SN which becomes the sum. A S n is equal to a into 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r. Let's take an example. 
for example, I said find the first uh, ten terms, uh, sum of first ten terms. <clears throat> and one more thing, remember that this positive sign actually, this po separate two times. This whenever there is a next sign, either positive or negative, that is the separation between two terms. Okay, so the first term is one. So there is a positive sign, the next term is two. It means the first term is one and second term is plus two. While this plus four uh, shows that, that this is the third term, plus eight, four, plus 16, fifth. So any sign between two terms, either positive or negative, actually separate the terms, separated two terms. So geometric progression, so S10, uh, I said find the sum of 10 terms. It means A was 1, 1 minus R. R was 2 and 2 power 10. Divided by 1 minus R, 1 minus 2. 1, 1 minus 2 power 10 is equal to 1, 0, 2, 4. Or I think, uh, yes, uh, 2, 4. Divided by minus 1. So one minus one zero two four, it would become minus one zero two three divided by minus one. And you can cancel minus and minus. This would become one zero two three. So this is a sum of 10 terms. Okay. Again, one minus R N divided by one minus R. A is one. So while r was 2, so 2 power 10, n is 10. So simply put the, uh, these values into this one. So 1 minus uh, r n divided by minus 1. In this way, you can find the sum of n terms. Now consider some no. example for, uh, from geometric progression. Like the first one is this. The inner term of the geometric progression is this. It means a n is equal to 10 into 1 by 2 n minus 1. This is not a geometric progression, but we have just only one term and that is general term of geometric progression. He said find the first term and the common ratio. How can we find the first term? Just put n is equal to 1. So we will find come to know about the first term 10 into one by two, when we take one minus one, it would be zero and power of anything when becomes zero. So it would by be zero would become one. one. And times ten. one is equal to 10. So A one is equal to 10. Yes, A two, for A two, just N is equal to two. So one by two, put two, two minus one. So 10 into one by two power one is also one. So to one time to five times, so A2 would be five. So now uh, you have a better idea as first term is 10 and the second term is five. He said the uh, sequence is geometric. It means R is equal to second divided by first, next divided by previous, five divided by 10, it would be one by two. So R would be one by two. So some more example, please. Next, he said, uh, third term of geometric progression is 16 and sixth term is minus 128. That third term is 16 while uh, sixth term is minus 128. So third term is a one R square is equal to 16. So uh, just put yeah. the formula of third term. A, uh, that a1 r square like we put in uh, arithmetic progression so similarly this is now geometric progression so one less in power of r so similarly here we can put one a r5 is equal to minus 128 so same techniques for geometric as we uh, did in arithmetic progression that uh, there are two equations one and number two and solve them simultaneously for value of A and R. Or he said, find the first term and the sum of first seven term. You can find the sum after finding A and R. 
So uh, find the value of a. This would become 16 over r square. So put in two. Just put in two. So when you put a is 16 over r square. Dot r five is equal to minus 128. So when you sub r second minus five, so it would becomes r cube. Divided by minus one twenty eight, divided by sixteen. When you divide minus sixteen, it would be minus eight r cube, and by taking cube root on both sides, this would become minus two. So when you find a minus two, put in any uh, equation, any above equation, you will find the value of a. A r square is equal to sixteen. Just put a r square. A is a r square is equal to sixteen, while r is minus two. Whole square it would become plus four, and when we shift plus four on this side, sixteen divided by four it will be four. After that we have to find the sum of seven terms. This is a is equal to four. Then sum of seven term it mean the formula of sum a into one minus r par n. Divided by one minus r, so a is four. One minus r is minus two. Par seven divided by minus minus into minus two. So four into one minus when you take par minus two par seven, it will it would be one twenty eight minus one twenty eight because par is odd. So Minus and minus plus one twenty eight divided by one minus and minus 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 plus one plus two. So one plus two and calculated by using calculator. That four into one twenty nine over three. So four over uh, three. One twenty nine can be simplified with three, and uh, this would become uh, three one time three four time, three one time three four time, and three three time. And when you multiply forty three multiply by four, it would be one seventy two. This is S seven. This is geometric progression S seven. So. Next, we take some more example of geometric progression. Before that, just uh, look at exercise seven point four, and I did some example from exercise seven point four. Exercise is seven point four, and this is for our example question number one. So, question number one: Find which of the following series are geometric progression if they are write down the common ratio. For example, I am just checking the D part. I am just checking okay. whether this D part is geometric or not. One by three plus series. When we put positive sign between the geometric term, then it would become series. One by forty-eight okay. and plus one by ninety-two plus up to so on. So for geometric progression, you have to find the R between all of them given terms because we have to check that. Whether this sequence is geometric or not, one by twelve divided by one by three. So because these are the fractional number, is equal to should be equal to one forty eight divided by one by twelve should be equal to one ninety two divided by one by forty eight. So when you convert this, twelve one over four. Yes, please one minute. And then one by forty-eight, twelve by one, and then one by one ninety-two, multiply by forty-eight. So this would become one by four. This would also become one by four, and forty-eight one time and two time it would be ninety-four and ninety-four and ninety-four one by two. It is also one by four. Hence sequence is geometric. And value of R is one by four. So this is question number one, part one. Mm. Next, he said question number three. I'm going to solve question number three. 
So question number three, the third and the fourth term of geometric progression are five and minus 20. Third, A3 is equal to five and A4, uh, third and fourth term, fourth term is minus 20. Okay. So respectively, find the first term and the common ratio R and the ninth term. It means ninth term and a and R, you have to find A and R. So without A and R, we cannot find A9. So just simply A9 is equal to A R power eight. So this is a formula of A R and A power nine. So remember this formula uh, uh, in your mind and then we will uh, expand this. A cube is equal, A3 is equal to five mean that put a q uh, three formula a into r square is equal to five similarly a r cube is equal to minus 20. so find for value of a this would be five over r square and then put this a value into this one five over r square into r cube is equal to minus 20. So R square and R, just only one R is left. R minus two, and then five R is equal to minus 20 and R is equal to minus four. For A, put this value into this one. A is equal to five over minus four whole square. So this would be five over 16. So this is A. So we have to find A9. Just put the formula of A9. A9 is equal to A R8. A is 5 by 16, while R is minus 4 power 8. So but just use calculator because 5 by 16 and minus 4 power 8 would be just one minute, please. No problem. So 4 power. 8 equal to 65536. So it would be 65563. And when we divide this with 16 and multiply by 5, 655636. Okay, I made mistake here. It would be 36. 3, 6, and now divide it by 16 and multiply by 5. So the 9 term would be 20480. 20480. This is the 9th term. Similarly, you can find just uh, question number 3, 4, and then find the sum of 11 term sum you have to find the sum and then the first term progression geometric this you have to do all of these by yourself just look oh, at question sorry. number 12. Oh. question number 12 is also easy not a problem in question number 12 but of one minus two x plus four x square minus eight x cube and plus up to so on. So A is one. How can we find R? R. Okay. So two a negative two X divided by one would be to negative two X. Very okay. good. So Any positive four X squared divided by negative two X should also equal to negative two X. So just only uh, because he said always uh, geometric. So he said this expression is already geometric. So no need to uh, find R from more than two terms. Uh, just only use the nth term formula. He said find uh, nth term. So one into R, R is minus two X per N minus one. Yeah. So you can write because this wouldn't be solved further. So minus two X power N minus one, this is your final answer. 
because we have already find nth term because we won't replace n with any number okay because uh, in nth term we keep just n as a parameter and rest of the a and r will replace by their actual values so question number 13 x plus 5x minus 4 are three, and x are three consecutive term of geometric progression. Find the value of x. x plus 5, x, and x minus 4. If a sequence is geometric, so I tell you the one thing. How can we know that this sequence is geometric? Uh, by dividing the second term by the first term. Exactly. X di divided by x plus 5. should be equal to x minus 4 divided by x so simplify them cross multiply and then it would become equation x square is equal to x plus 5 and x minus 4 so expand it and shift this on one side of the equation and then you will solve this one x square it would be x square minus not plus x and minus 20 So okay. when and you shift x square on this side, out. x square minus x square plus x minus twenty equal to zero, cancel and x is equal to twenty. This is yep. your final answer. So I hope I did many questions. So just only maybe yep. you face problem in uh, these sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. I will discuss our yep. uh, these question tomorrow. or i will tell you how to do these question these are also i think you shouldn't be have any problem in these question if you so today is your task is question number 1 to question number 14 okay thank you so much uh, take care inshallah we'll see you tomorrow